What's going on guys? Medicine in 3 Minutes back here with another video and today we're going to get straight to the point. We're going to keep the subject clear, brief, and illustrated. So let's get started. We're going to be talking about uh, the Glasgow Coma Scale. So yeah, let's get started. So what is the Glasgow Coma Scale? So basically it's actually a neuro neurological scale that gives a reliable and relatively objective way of recording the conscious state of the person. Uh, the patient is first of all assessed against the criteria of the scale and the resulting points will give a score between 3 and 15. 3 being uh, a person who is in a very deep unconscious state which is a, a very bad case of a coma and 15 being a completely normal uh, responding individual. So basically this scale is able to me measure how severe uh, your coma or your state of unconsciousness is. All right, now the assessment is actually going to be uh, composed of three different parts. Now, the first is going to be uh, a visual or an eye assessment. The second is going to be a verbal assessment. And the third is going to be just a motor skill of, uh, assessment. Now, you can use these three uh, little symbols just to uh, remind yourself visually. And basically, the eye test will be recorded out of four. Four being perfectly normal and one being uh, the worst case possible. And same goes for the verbal and the motor. It will be out of five and out of six. All right. So first, we're going to be talking about the eye test. Now, um, basically, the first one is going to be spontaneous opening. And the second is going to be a spont uh, an opening uh, to any sound. So whenever a sound is made, uh, the person opens their eyes. The third is going to be the opening of the eyes to pressure. So any physical pain or any pressure put on the body. And the last is going to be if there is absolutely no response, regardless of the circumstance. Now, uh, each one is going to have a different um, grade. Now, the grade is going to be 4 if the person opens their eyes spontaneously. It is going to be 3 if they react to sound. It is going to be 2 if they only react to pressure. And it is a 1 if there is no response whatsoever. So that is for the op uh, when you open the eyes. So just remember... Um, four is going to be normal, uh, three is going to be sound, two is pressure, and one is no response. The second test is verbal. Now, when it comes to the verbal, there's actually going to be um, the first a question that you're going to ask. Um, simply, you could ask the person where they are. Now, if the person is oriented and they are aware of the location in which they are in, uh, for example, if they were in the hospital and you asked them where they are, they said the hospital, uh, then they would uh, you would come to the conclusion that they are um, aware of where they are. The second is going to be if they are confused. This will be a four point out of five. Um, this is if you're asking them where they are and they're disoriented or they believe that they are somewhere where they aren't. Uh, the third is going to be for out of three points. It is going to be uh, when you ask them what month it is, for example, or, or any basic question. And they simply respond to something that has nothing to do with the topic. And uh, when it comes to number two, it is going to be in any incomprehensible response. So maybe slurs his words or you completely don't understand what they're saying. And obviously, number one is going to be no response. This is going to be one point out of five. All right. So just a quick reminder when it comes to the verbal, uh, five is going to be an oriented response. 4 is going to be a confused response, 3 is going to be a random response, uh, 2 is going to be an incomprehensible response, and 1 is going to be no response. So yeah, next and last is going to be the motor test. Now, when it comes to the motor test, the first thing that is going to be 6 points is going to be when you're telling them uh, to follow your commands. Uh, for example, you tell them to sit up and they are completely able to sit up. Um, if they are unable to sit up, but they are still able to localize uh, any pain. So, for example, you were, you know, the the classic when you hit the person in the knee and you know their their knee starts jolting. Um, if they're able to pass that test, then they ha they get a five. Um, if they get a four, that means that when they respond to pain, they respond to it in the wrong way that it should that they should. Um, number three. Is going to be uh, uh, decorticate, 
posturing, which is a flexion to pain. So as you can see, the arrows are going this way. This is how he's going to uh, react to pain. And the cerebrate is going to be basically an extension to pain. So as you can see, his body, there is a reaction, but it is uh, more subtle. And of course, last, which is going to be one point, is going to be the no response. So just a recap of this one. Uh, number one, one point out of five if there is no response. Two points out of five if it is a uh, decertebrate position uh, posturing. Um, and when it is the uh, decorticate is going to be three points out of five, or sorry, out of six. Um, when it comes to any withdrawal from pain, uh, it will be four out of six. When it comes to localizing the pain, it's going to be a five out of six. And if they are uh, following your commands very easily, it's going to be a six out of six. So yeah, just before we finish this video, I just want to tell you guys about The Butchered Gardens in Eden of the Pacific. It's an amazing book on uh, Amazon. Uh, you can find it on any ebook platform out there. Um, here's a little passage from it if you guys would like to, re uh, would, would like to read it. Uh, it's really an amazing book. I'd definitely go check it out. Um, it's available in French and English, and the price is very, very reasonable. So yeah, definitely go check it out, guys. So thank you so much. Uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, leave some comments, let us know if we did anything wrong. And yeah, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Guys. We just hit 200 subscribers, so we're still on that grind for 500. So thank you guys so much, and have a good day.